Hi, it's Richard Smith from Amazing ICT here, and I'm going to show you something exciting about how to get a donut factory to zoom donuts across a conveyor belt. So let's have a little look. So you click on, you search for my website, click on the top site, um, and then um, there's other stuff on here, so you can subscribe to the, the newsletter to get all updates, but we're going to click on the um, pink rectangle there. That gets you into the Scratch channel. So we're going to look at Donut Factory 2. Uh, click on See Inside. And what you can see is you've got a, like a conveyor belt. So what we're going to do today is we're going to be talking about how to get the donut to, to come across the conveyor belt more than once. And we're going to do it when um, we click the, the green button. So let's have a little look. So what you need to do is click on the green button at the bottom, that's called a sprite, and you can see the code. So when the sprite is clicked, it's going to start a particular process. So this is like getting the conveyor belt to start. So that's under events. So you go to broadcast and then you would put a new message in. So it would say like start conveyor. So you need to do that yourself. So I've done that already, so I'll move that back. Now this is going to send a message to the donut. So if we look at the donut, and then um, I can just get rid of these that I don't want. So it's got, when I receive um, start process, it creates a clone of myself. So the thing itself is a donut, so it's going to create a second copy, and then it's going to glide it across to where I want it to go. So if I put the original over here, that must be the original. Perhaps I moved it too far. There we go. So when I click on the green flag, the donut moves back, but it's only when I click on the green button that the donut starts to move. Can you see there? And then what you could do is you could put um, a repeat in here which would be quite good. So that would that would actually create more than one donut. So hopefully it will look a bit more realistic. So green flag moves the donut back. Um, press the button and hopefully we'll get to 10 donuts. Right now, the reason it hasn't worked, and this is quite good in a way because we've got to debug it, is because we've got to take um, the donut back to the beginning before um, before we actually send it off again. So I'm going to have to duplicate that. So I, I right, I rest my finger on it or right click on it, duplicate, and then that I can put another one of those in there. Now I will need to debug it again because you'll see the donut moving backwards. You watch. So I'll click on there. Um, and can you see it's moved the, the donut back? So what I'm going to have to do is stop it zoom in again and you should have seen there's a little clue here so at the end no sorry at the beginning I'm going to hide the donut while it moves back and then I'm going to show it just before it whizzes across to the right so although it's quite a simple process you can see it, it, it gets quite complicated and you have to spend a lot of time thinking or working in pairs to try and solve problems but that's quite fun to do so let's see if that works. So press the green button. One, two, and so on. So we'll get my 10 donuts. So um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go on Amazing ICT and then you'll get loads of free updates. Thanks for watching.